after earthquakes or the explosion of bombs, two types of waves ripple through our planet. First come pressure or P waves, followed by shear or S waves. P waves can make their way through liquids and solids, but liquids stop S waves from spreading. Researchers in the 1900s detected a P wave on the other side of Earth after they bent and refracted through the Earth's interior. By contrast, the S waves never made it through. That led scientists to think that Earth's core was entirely liquid. However, this theory was challenged when Inge Lehmann, a Danish seismologist, noticed a P wave in an unexpected place. Lehmann concluded that it had to have bounced off of something dense, something solid. And the idea of Earth's center was born, a solid inner core suspended in a liquid outer core. More recently, researchers have made another discovery. Routes where P waves travel at greater speeds, particularly along Earth's north-south axis. Changes in these fast lanes hint at the existence of an innermost core, nestled inside the inner core. Researchers estimate that it's roughly 600 kilometers in diameter and slightly offset from the planet's center. Yet many questions still remain about its composition and how it formed.